It appears that space is an abandoned empty area with no trace of another civilization like ourselves, implying that the universe is completely silent and that no one other than us has attempted to explore it. Recent discoveries, on the other hand, may just have proven the contrary. The Voyager mission to interstellar space has revealed new information about some of the mysteries that exist beyond our solar system. In the far reaches of space, the Voyager probes discovered phenomena that were previously unknown to mankind and their findings may have created more concerns than they have answered. So, what have Voyager spacecraft discovered that is both astonishing and perplexing? What if we're truly not the only ones in the universe? And for these NASA spacecrafts, what lies ahead? Let's take a look. It's been over 44 years since Voyager 1 left Earth, but it's still sending back data. Researchers noticed a peculiar hum in the cosmos one day. The newly discovered signal differed dramatically from previous records. Despite the probe sending comparable data in the past, we had the opportunity to see what is beyond our solar system for the first time in human history. The signal was discovered 14 billion kilometers away from Earth. It was a sound that had remained constant at 3 kilohertz for over three years. This is the most consistent and long-lasting hum Voyager 1 has ever observed. It was only after the spacecraft had travelled a sufficient distance that scientists were able to discover it. But where did this ethereal sound come from? According to most scientists, the hum is caused by plasma waves flowing someplace deep within the universe. Plasma is a type of main building material found in and emitted by practically all cosmic objects. The fact that this sound remained virtually the same after the probe flew another billion miles is simply astounding. Other experts speculated that the hum could be caused by an energy source we are unaware of because of its remarkable constancy. But if there's no sound in space, then how is this even possible? True sound fades away too quickly in the vacuum of space because there aren't enough particles for it to go through. Even sounds like black hole collisions or enormous supernova explosions have no chance there. Radio waves are one of the many electromagnetic waves capable of traveling in a vacuum with no issues. Even though our human ears are incapable of detecting such signals, scientists have discovered a technique to turn them into sounds and we can now hear the message Voyager 1 sent us. NASA has discovered other strange noises that baffled the scientific community in the past. Researchers discovered something strange in 2007 when they stumbled over old data that had been preserved for a few years. FRBs, or fast radio bursts, are what they discovered. These bursts are so rapid that each one lasts only a millisecond. Researchers began looking for other probable FRBs after that and they discovered a slew of them. Is it possible that an advanced alien society is making an effort to contact us? Who knows, maybe this wasn't even meant for our eyes and ears. Some astrophysicists believe that these FRBs originate from black holes or big neutron stars, while others have a more exciting theory about what is really going on in the universe at large. They believe that these are powerful alien radio waves that were meant to charge their light-powered spacecraft at great distances, but were misdirected. Though this hypothesis is a stretch, both sides agree that these FRBs must originate from an unimaginably distant source located billions of light-years away from our galaxy. While our technologies do not allow us to look that far away, we appear to have harnessed our own solar system quite well in comparison to interstellar space. Over six years after its twin Voyager 1 made the journey into interstellar space, NASA's Voyager 2 arrived in interstellar space in November 2018. Astronomers have gained new insights into the nature of our solar system's heliosphere 
thanks to data from Voyager 2. Like that of its sibling, Voyager 2's primary mission was to search for and investigate objects outside of our solar system. All four of the solar system's largest planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, have been studied by Voyager 2 in close proximity. Scientists were taken aback when the probes discovered volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and determined Europa is most likely an ocean world. In every way, Voyager 2 was a success. It sent back stunning views of the entire Jovian system, as well as time-lapse movies of Jupiter taken from its shots, which revealed how the planet had changed since Voyager 1's visit. Its photos of Io revealed changes in the Moon's surface, as well as the continued eruptions of its volcanoes. The probe turned the streak seen by Voyager 1 on Europa into a series of fissures in a thick, surprisingly smooth icy covering. It also revealed a third component of the planet's rings and discovered a 14th moon. And Voyager 2 returned the only close-up views of Uranus and Neptune ever seen by humanity. Scientists continued to uncover fascinating new insights into the universe by analyzing Voyager's decades-old data. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was the third to visit Saturn. It provided us with yet another close-up view of Saturn and its moons. While the Voyager 2 spacecraft was the first human-made object to sail past Uranus, it was able to identify 10 new moons during its flyby, giving them names like Puck, Portia, Juliet, Cressida, Rosalind, Belinda, Desdemona, Cordelia, Orphelia and Bianca all of which are apparent Shakespeare references. In addition to the older nine rings, it discovered two new rings and a magnetic field skewed at 55 degrees off-axis and off-center. At a depth of 497 miles 800 kilometers, the probe discovered a boiling ocean of water. The opacity and thickness of its rings were found to be wildly inconsistent. Voyager 2 also provided stunning images of Miranda, Oberon, Ariel, Umbriel and Titania, the five largest moons of Uranus. The spacecraft got close to any object in its near-decade-long journey when it flew by Miranda at a distance of only 17,560 miles, or 28,260 kilometers. Images of the moon revealed a bizarre object with a jumble of odd features that appeared to have no rhyme or explanation. Uranus itself appeared to be devoid of features. When flying by Neptune, the spacecraft discovered six new moons, Proteus, Larissa, Despina, Galatea, Thalassa and Naiad, and four new rings around the planet. With winds of 680 miles, that's 1,100 kilometers per hour, the planet was discovered to be more active than previously thought. Although copious methane gave the planet its blue hue, hydrogen was discovered to be the most frequent atmospheric element. The lesser dark spots, the great dark spots, and Scooter, three prominent features in the planetary clouds, were revealed in detail by these fascinating images. Voyager 2 captured two-thirds of Triton, Neptune's biggest moon, exposing the solar system's coldest planetary body and a nitrogen ice volcano on its surface. Incredible photos of its southern hemisphere revealed a bizarre pitted surface resembling that of a melon. Voyager 2's planetary contacts, which spanned an incredible 12 years in deep space, came to an end with a flyby of Neptune. After passing through the system, it took a route below the ecliptic plane and out of the solar system. On the other hand, these probes haven't ceased scouting the solar system's outskirts. Voyager 1 and 2 are still in operation today, making them the world's longest running and farthest reaching space missions. Although they are on separate paths, both spacecraft are screaming their way out of the solar system there's still much work to do ahead of them. The twin probes have also revealed recently that the solar wind moves more slowly than expected at the frontier of our solar system. 
Overall, astronomers have been able to compare, contrast and validate results about the border that divides our solar system from interstellar space by analysing data from the two probes. You might be wondering when Voyager 1 and 2 are finally going to die. The Voyager probes have been in near constant touch with NASA since their launch more than 44 years ago. According to mission planners, the spacecraft will be communicated with until they fail or lose power. Until 2025, both should be able to keep at least one scientific instrument operational. Even after that, NASA intends to receive engineering data from the probes until 2035, when they outgrow the Deep Space Network antennas range. Unfortunately, this implies that until they reach their next destination, the interstellar mission won't be able to tell us what they observe. Before the missions even began, NASA understood that this day would come, and for some astronomers, this lonely one-way ticket out of the solar system was too much to bear. Carl Sagan was so taken with the concept that he assisted NASA in developing a comprehensive cultural component for the trip in case future aliens or spacefaring Earthlings discovered one of the Voyager probes. A committee led by Sagan selected the contents of each spacecraft's golden record, which serves as a time capsule from Earth. The images and sounds from Earth as well as music from dozens of countries and greetings in 55 languages from around the world are included in these messages to the sky. While we will eventually stop hearing from the Voyager probes, it is possible that this will not be the final communication sent on their journey to the stars. According to Carl Sagan, billions of years from now, our Sun, then a distended red giant star, will have reduced Earth to a charred cinder but the Voyager record will still be largely intact in some other remote region of the Milky Way galaxy, preserving a murmur of an ancient civilization that once flourished, perhaps before moving on to greater deeds and other worlds on the distant planet Earth. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.